Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Brandon Drury. The first baseman, number 17, Brandon Drury. Here comes a pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Count is two and one. Hit hard, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. And he'll pull into second safely. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside. Get that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. Manny Machado up to the plate. Next pitch misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. Kicks and fires. That one missed, now 3 and 0. Oh. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. That's out to center field. That takes care of Cronenworth. And there's two down. Josh Bell at the plate now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man on second, two down. And there's a ball. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Righty delivers. That one hammered left field way back there. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And it's second, no play. And a run comes in to score. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely. Next to hit, Ha Sung Kim. First pitch, just misses. Line drive, brings it in for the third out. Bottom of the eighth, here's the catcher for the Mets, Tomas Nito. And a pitch. Up the middle, and a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now Brandon Nimmo. And that one handled. On to Cronenworth. On to first save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Tyler Naquin up now for the Mets. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. 0-2 now. I got to count. 1-2. On the ground to the left, Kim. Sends it to first. Got the out. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. 
Comes up empty. That's strike two. Bringing the cheese on that one. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Nimmo at second with two down. This one in the air center field. Grisham moving under this one. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. Back here in Queens. We go to the ninth. Now here is Trent Grisham. Walker back to work. The other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet, and it just is one of those bad luck ABs. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And now the count is even. One and one. One down, base is empty. Soft contact in the air. Makes the grab, two down. Up now the Padre leadoff man, Jerickson Profar. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and into second easily with a two-out double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Toss to Alonzo. They get the out on Soto. And that is that. Bottom nine. Here's Starling Marte. The pitch swings through that one. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Soto puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Alonso. Base knock center field. Now the left fielder, Mark Canna, for the fourth time tonight. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh Swing and a bouncer. Over to first. Now only one out remaining. Mets down to their final out. Next is the designated hitter, Daniel Vogelback. First offering and it just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Out towards right center field. Grisham giving chase. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Run comes in from second, and now just a two-run deficit. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can... Knocks it down. Profar fires it to the plate. Save! He scores, and it's a one-run game. Here's the catcher, Tomas Nito. One for three. And that one sliced foul. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Base hit into right center. McNeil headed home. He scores to tie it up. It's four to four. It's a two-out double, and the winning run is at second base.
Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Ah, well, he settles under it in left, and that will end the inning. I don't wear a cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a cleaner house. Do you think that's just a statement? Back here at the ballpark, and yeah, the batter now, Brandon Drury. The first base number 17, Brandon Drury. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Trevor Williams. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Next pitch has popped up. Alonso brings it in, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Machado stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. The 1 0. Upstairs. Well, this is. A little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. Tied to four. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Out of here. Manny Machado leaves the yard. And just like that, they're out front. It's 6-4. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So one out, nobody on. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. First pitch, not close. Just missed. The wind to kick the 2-0. Base hit, center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Alonso makes the catch, and that'll do it. <laughs> On to the bottom of the 10th. Here's the Mets' leadoff man, Tyler Naquin. The pitch. And that one hit to first. And here in the 10th, the leadoff man is out. And next for the Mets, Francisco Lindor. The switch hitter batting right. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. And that one fouled off. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Mets down to their final out. Starling Marte up now for the Mets. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and that baby's gone. That one felt good, and we have a tie ball game. It's 6-6. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Pete Alonso. That one ripped left field. Alonso. 